What is up, breadwinners? Thank you for pressing play on this video. My name is Jenny Hanson Lane, and I have promised myself that I would document my KDP journey to save you from my mistakes. I wanted to record this video really quick, and you might hear my kids in the next room. They read for like an hour and a half, and they earned their video game time. So I wanted to dive into a quick video while we're home. Um, sorry if it's loud. I got the dishwasher going in the background, but you guys have asked for this, so I was like, I have to deliver to my people. Okay. So ad strategy. There's so many, there's so many ad strategies. We're, this video is just about one because we don't need all of them one time. Okay. We need to test, 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 figure out what works for us in our niche. So this is the $5 strategy. Some of these you've seen a really low a cost from doing five dollar ad strategy. I don't like to turn on really high bids. It's just, I'm not comfortable with it, but I will add to my daily budget. That's not something I'm afraid of. Okay. So you can always back that down. So what I'm going to show you this ad strategy and how it begins. This is for, um, automatic ads. This is for manual ads. And this is for lottery ads, which are just automatic ads with multiple books in it. So I like to start off my campaign, my daily budget. I set it at $5. My bid amount, I always start at two cents. I just do this Two like money. It's still valuable, even if it's two cents, right? And then every two days, if I'm not sure about the niche, I two exit, four cents, six cents, eight cents. If you want to scale the bid amount faster, do it every two hours. I've done that too, okay? So the, the metrics you want to look at is really based off of the validated niche. Now I have validated my niche, right? So I know that my, my impressions will start getting clicks. My ads will start getting clicks around nine to 15 cents. I don't always turn on a book at nine or 15 cents. I just, I still have to work through the mindset of ads. Okay. Now it's, it's, uh, it's okay. It's okay to start small. A lot of people have different theories and different strategies. But like for me, I want to start small and I want to build my way up. And as soon as you turn on an ad, you are, you, that is the rocket ship. And then the money you put behind it is the fuel. So it's okay to start with a little bit of fuel. And maybe the rocket ship is a bad analogy because you can still get cells with small, you know, with rockets without ships. I'll think of an analogy that's better than that. But here's what I want you to think about. I want you to think about starting an automatic ad with a daily budget of $5 and a bid amount of two cents that you change or you double or you add four cents or six cents as time goes by. Okay. Now, if your ad is spending money, you want to look at your CTR. This is click through rate. If you have a click through rate of over 0.50%, you can see conversions. I do have some ads that are converting. But if you have a click-through rate of 1%, this is ideal. This means that people are seeing your ad and they're clicking on it. Okay. Now, what if you are spending up all your money or you're not getting sales? Let's talk about those scenarios. Okay. So I like to 2X my profit for budget. So if I have a book that I'm getting $5 a profit, I might change my daily budget to $10. Okay. If it's every time it sells, you guys, every time my ad sells a book, I raise the budget just a teeny tiny bit because I'm just telling Amazon I'm ready for buyers. Okay. So you can start with $5, but you can also start with more. So the more profits that you have, the more leverage that you have. And the, what is the word that I'm looking for? When you have, um, the profits set at a certain pay, uh, duration, you can spend more and make money. So a lot of people will break even on their ads because let's say they make $4 on a book and their ad is spending $4 a day, but then they're getting a couple organic sales. So that would be a good example of breaking even with ads, but then making revenue from organic. Okay. So there's nothing wrong with that. So if you have, if you implement this $5 ad strategy, and you have more than 10 clicks. So it's, you know, let's say two cents times 10, 20 cents. And people have not bought anything. You either need to increase the bid amount. You can increase the daily budget, 
but something I look to first is the ad copy. What does your description say? Because if they're clicking, they like the cover. So you, so this is actually great. If you're getting clicks and people aren't buying, now you know it's not a cover problem. Unless it, you know, because people are clicking on it. And people on Amazon, they're already, they already have their wallet open. So it's not like they had to go get their wallet book. It's all built in on Amazon. Okay. So if you're getting more than 10 clicks and no sales. Like let's look at your ad copy. I have a couple videos you can search on my, on my account that talk about, um, on my YouTube channel that talk about how to rate descriptions. Okay. And so that's something that you want to revisit if you're not getting purchases from the clicks. Before that, if you're getting a lot of impressions and you're getting no clicks, that means you might need to strengthen your cover. You might need to create a cover that's a little bit more compelling. And, and is it something you would buy, right? So that means Amazon's showing your book a lot, but none of the customers are attracted to it. So these are the little tiny things you can do to get an ad going. And, um, don't be afraid to raise your budget if you would like to try to tell Amazon you're looking for those buyers. And as you do that, you'll be able to scale as you bring in sales. Now, the most important thing, I didn't write it at the end of here. So let me go back. This is the most important thing right here. Yes. Okay. This is, this is why this is working because I have very small competition because I found a niche that's underserved that I want to cater to. So don't sleep on like, that's, that's what we're going to talk about. And then in the niche, don't make me niche slap you masterclass is finding those niches that are going to help you generate income. So let me know if you need more ad strategies. We can do these every couple months. I do ads, but I'm not like an ad Amazon girl. I might be turning into one because of my results, but I don't want to ever put my results above the work that I did to validate my niche. That is the most important thing. I've also talked about previously that I knew I could outdesign my competition. So I'm very confident about that. And this next year I'm going to be entering intentionally into more competitive niches. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to get this. I'm not going to get these results. I'm not going to get these. I already know that. There's some niches that I'm entering in that I'm going to have to pay $2 or a dollar to get someone to click on my thing. So I've got to be really strategic about that as I publish high content and figure out what to do next. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Love you lots. Peace out.